everybody, it's Twiggy. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a video, and welcome to this crazy channel. Um, I do Bath and Body Works hauls. If you really enjoy that, I do a lot of Bath and Body Works hauls. Not as frequent as some of the Bath and Body Works, um, like haulers or YouTubers. Um, I do do a lot of them, but not like to their amount but I do do a lot um I am who I am on here I don't edit my videos so there's a lot of bloopers me getting tongue-tied or easily distracted by like a squirrel or a bird flying by my window so um I am actually not filming in my normal location just because I have two really huge boxes and where I film it is a really tiny little corner of my bathroom and it's just really hard to get really big boxes in there and then I have to get like extra furniture in there when I have to have like these really heavy boxes. It just doesn't work. It's a lot extra work that I don't feel like doing today. Um, so yeah, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up if you like this video and leave comments below because I do read them. I do try to reply to a lot of them and, you know, conversate back and forth because I do consider my YouTube family kind of an extended family of mine because as you guys know I don't have much friends or family um, especially out where I live I don't really have any friends at all out here so um, it makes for a very lonely time you guys have kind of become my extended family um, and I've actually made some really good friends um, from YouTube I have um, yeah I just I like you guys you guys make me laugh sometimes when I have bad days um, but yeah, <clears throat> I got my hair done today. My hairdresser, Faith, is awesome. She has been fixing my hair for 11 years. I say fixing my hair because I have screwed my hair up so bad over the years. She has fixed it multiple times. And yeah, Faith has already told me that if I ever bleach my hair blonde again, she will kill me. Or jet black, because I used to have Elvis jet black hair. I'm banned from those two colors, but I've been just dyeing it brown with box dye. So I got tone, I got like highlights done, I think it's what it's called, and then like some other stuff done. So it looks kind of like natural. So because I get lazy and don't always get my hair done, it'll grow out, but it'll look naturally like, oh, I've just been in the sun a lot, kind of touched out. Not like obvious, like, you know, growth and like weirdness that normally happens with my head. So got that done, got my eyebrows ripped off my face because... Faith said my caterpillars had to go, so those got ripped off. I, I, I don't know. As an adult, you think I'd be used to getting my eyebrows waxed? Still not, but she always makes fun of me for that. But yeah, love Faith. She's the best hairdresser ever. I drive 45 minutes to get my hair done. Not often, but 45 minutes every time I need my hair done by her, even my cut. I don't trust anybody else with my hair. She's done my hair for 11 years. I think I posted a video how I was like upset when I originally found out she was possibly moving to Florida. She left for a while and she came back and then I lost her for a little bit because I couldn't figure out where she was. She wasn't at her normal haircut place. Then I realized I had her number so I texted her and she told me where she is. So now I go see her where she is and she does a really good job. So I just am going to go extremely broke because everything I got done today was like $200 and I was like holy crap. <laughs> but hey I needed my hair done so I'm just paying prices that I used to pay when I was in Chicago so it's it's a little expensive at least for me because I work retail I don't I don't have a lot of money so but I had to get the special hair treatments because she had to tone it and then some other thing because I had previously box dyed it and then I had like pink like red like bright red at the ends of my hair she had to fix so that, that fixed this. So, okay. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's kind of weird weather here. Like, we keep getting clouds and then it's rains. And it's really flipping cold. But I'd rather take rain over snow. So, not bitching too much. I was going to do a grocery haul for you guys yesterday. But, honestly, I had so many freaking grocery bags. And so much of the stuff was, like, perishable. Like, I had to get in the fridge that I just ended up putting it all away. I made homemade veggie dip yesterday, like from scratch, not like like dill dip. I love that stuff. Made that, and then I also made, um, they're called in Polish, gołumpkis, or gołumpkis, I don't know. 
my Polish isn't the greatest. Um, but they're cabbage rolls. I made cabbage rolls for dinner. So, yeah, I've been busy on my days off. And I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, so I'm par pardon me. I'm a little, I'm a little sleepy. Um, I got three packages. I have this one. Um, this one that came to me from the company, company Native. Um, they did a line by this lady named Melissa. I think she's out of New York. And she has like a bakery shop. It's just kind of convenient. Um, and I got some of the deodorants earlier this this year. And I really liked them. So I reordered a bunch that I wanted to keep. Because I've never actually like gone through a whole thing of native deodorant before. Because when I first started using it, I didn't really like it. But then I found out because it doesn't have aluminum in it. It's way healthier for you. Hold on, I have to get up and find like a knife to like slice this open. Okay. Sorry, I had a, I thought I could get it and I normally have a box cutter with me, but your my dumb dumbness forgot that today. So yeah. Um Oh, it didn't come in a little cute box. Normally they send it in a little cute box. Maybe they're out of it. But, uh, yeah. So I ended up ordering some more deodorant because I really liked it. And it's a limited edition kind. So I was like, I really have to get some more because I really do like it. So I ended up getting another one of the Fresh Peach Cupcake. And the reason I ordered this one is I do like it. I haven't been able to use it much because I have it in my work bag. Um, which is the, like a little leather backpack I carry to work with me. Um, so it's in my like health toiletry kit for work just in case I go out somewhere after work so I don't stink if I sweat a lot during work. And then I did get two tie-dye vanilla cupcake from Native. And they're really good. They smell awesome. I have them in the shower gel too. I just haven't used the shower gel as much. Um, and this is, I'm pretty positive this is aluminum free. So I really, really do like it that it's aluminum free because yeah, it's aluminum free and paraffin free um, because it is kind of, it's not proven by doctors yet, but it is kind of a theory that the aluminum causes cancer. And my mom, if you guys didn't know or haven't been, if you just are new to my channel, my mom died of breast cancer. Um, she unfortunately had the most aggressive kind of breast cancer. So by the time we found out it was, uh, stage four and they were going to make her like they were going to do trials or, or i think maybe she was stage three at that point we hadn't gotten the terminal diagnosis yet there was still hope and then like a month or two later she kept having he headaches after chemo and she's like i just feel something like something's wrong like i don't think it's working i think it's in my brain and we all kind of told her it's crazy because you know my mom had like anxiety so we were just like mom you're just you know Cancer scary, it's just overreacting. Well, it ended up spreading to her brain and she did pass away. And we both kind of used um, deodorants that had aluminum in them, a lot of chemicals. She always used, and I still kind of wonder if this wasn't due to what she always used under, because we were both big, ch well, I still am big chested, but we were both big chested and she always used baby powder under her chest. Well, baby powder also has talc. Talc is known cancer causer. Um, there was a big lawsuit with Johnson & Johnson about that because women were getting ovarian cancer that would, like, you know, put powder down there and stuff. Um, and also, like, I don't know about breast cancer, but my mom would use it for under her boobs, and she ended up getting breast cancer. So I don't use any of that under there, but I have switched to, this is, like, the only, I call it my yuppie stuff, um, my aluminum-free deodorant and my paraffin-free deodorant because... It does work, and it smells really freaking good. Um, I don't like any of the other scents, to be perfectly honest with you. I have tried, like, their regular scents, and um, this is... I wish they would bring it back, to be perfectly honest with you. The tie-dye vanilla cupcake is awesome. This one's really awesome. I did get the... Um, I think I got the shower gel. I don't think I got the deodorant in it. Um, I, there was a mint chocolate... or mint cookie cupcake one that's good and if you want to and I sometimes wear it to bed because then I smell like thin mint and then I also got uh I think a ginger one but I think I got that on body wash not not deodorant 
Um, so yeah, that's my native haul. And I'm sorry I'm talking so much. This is like, I'm overtired and I'm just excited to um, give you guys updates because I have one Big Bath and Body Works box and then I have another one sitting here too. Um, I'm not gonna lift them both up right away. Well, I guess I could, hold on. The second one's really, really heavy. That's why I'm in here, oh God. See, two really big Bath and Body Works boxes. Um, Okay, you know how I told you guys customer service was like really, really crappy the last time I had to deal with issues because I had some candles that came in not perfect condition and I hate being one of those people, but if things don't come in perfect condition and I'm paying like, and this order was like, I want to say almost an $80, 80, it was an $80 order. It was almost a $90 order, but I had a coupon um, and things didn't come in perfect condition. I understand things happen, whatever. I contact customer service. They were really rude. Um, both their normal chat and then like social media chat. So they wanted proof. And then I ended up, something was sharp in the box and it cut me. And then they were like worried. So they made me call like the enterprise people that are like the people that deal with the medical. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want problems. I just want the product. Well, then I ended up mess. She's like, well, let me investigate this and see what's going on. Because she's like, yeah, we don't normally ask for proof of damage. Like, you shouldn't have had to do that. I was like, okay, well, that's what they asked for. Um, sent it. They said they'd never got it. Really weird. Really annoyed. Just tired of the hoops. I just want my products. That I so I messaged them again Tuesday while I was at work. I was like on my lunch break or whatnot. And I hadn't heard anything like by my lunch or like after my lunch, like I was going home. So I just happened to message the people. I was like, I'm messenger. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I was like, I talked to these people earlier today. They said they'd get back to me. Don't have an email from them. Don't have a phone call. Don't know what's going on. I just want to know because all I wanted was my replacements because I had three candles come like not in perfect condition. And then some stuff leaked all over my box. I just kind of got rid of all the crap, you know, like whatever I had to. I just want you know, a replacement for the, th I wasn't even asking for a replacement for all the candles. I just wanted for the three that were wonky. Everything else I kind of washed off or like if it was too far gone, threw out. Well, they ended up, the lady was like super nice and she's like, I'm sorry that you've gone through all this and because it causes me a lot of anxiety to call and contact customer service because most of the time they're not nice um, to me at all. Like super rude. Um, I, I feel like Bath and Body Works, like I said in my previous video, Prices are going up, customer service is going down. Um, as far as them being nice or just not attitude-y. Um, so I uh, ended up getting surprised and the lady's like, oh, I'll just, re you know, don't worry about it, hon. I'll just reship you the whole order. And I'm like, and I thought she was like reshipping it like seven day shipping. No, this came yesterday. Okay, I talked to them on Tuesday. So, I got my replacements, but I also, if you guys haven't seen, I got some, my candles again, so I'm super excited. I got iced blueberry biscotti, and I won't, like, go super slow on this, because, and this is, like, perfect, because the other ones, if you guys didn't see my previous videos, I had, like, tunnels um, where, like, the wax didn't go to where the wick was, and every time I've had that, or, like, the candle wasn't center, the candles don't burn really well for me, though. They, like, burn and, like, drown in the wax. So, I have to, like, throw all those boxes out before I can... Yeah, this is, like... I'm still on the fence if I like this. Do you guys like the iced lemon pound cake? Because I burned one of these, like, this week, and I don't like this packaging. I like the packaging on the bigger candle, but I haven't decided if I like this or not. It's just kind of, I like how it smells like cold. Like, don't get me wrong, it smells good. It smells like, you know, pound cake and lemon. But as far as like a burn, it's a very light burn. Like, I do not smell it unless I'm standing over it. Um, then I got iced blueberry biscotti again. Which you guys know I love this because if you guys didn't know in winter time when they came in the fancy bottles or fancy jars, I bought like, I'm kind of happy this came because I'm not going to lie, I'm so tired of strawberry pound cake. That is like, I'm so over it. 
And I still have like 12 bottles of it and I'm trying to get rid of it and like gift it to friends at work or people at work. Um, but yeah, so I got iced blueberry biscotti again. Um, but yeah, I bought like 12 of those in that fancy glass when they had a sale. Um, this is irking me because they have like two labels on here and one of them's like really screwed up. It's driving me nuts, but whatever. If a label's messed up, a label's messed up. I'm not gonna. But this one I really do love. Um, I like it better when it burns because when I'm cold, it kind of has a funky smell. But raspberry and whipped vanilla with the bunny. It's so cute. They have some Angora butter bunnies for sale around here, and I kind of want to buy one because I've always wanted a bunny. But I have two cats, and I'm pretty sure my cats would try to eat the bunny. Or at least sit on it and try to, you know, smother it to death. Oh, yeah. I love this. It smells so yummy. But yeah, so I got raspberry whipped vanilla. And another bunny candle. Some of this I can't even remember what I ordered. Cause... Raspberry mimosa. Okay, I can't remember. Is this the one that came out in that one jar last season? Where it had the, I don't know if it was one of those, what is it called? Those, oh, can't remember. It's like special glass, like not the frosted, but like luminaries. Was this one that was like, like the weird, like white, like luminary where it almost looked like wicker, but it was um, like little cutout sections? Because I think I've smelled this before and I can't put my finger on what or where because I smell a lot of stuff from Bath and Body Works. As you guys know, I have a huge collection. Um, to the point where that's why I'm not going to be buying as much because your girl has a lot of stuff and a shit ton of soap that I have to use up. And then I got raspberry mimosa again because I, when I placed this order originally I bought two of everything I bought. And then I did get some free rewards because I had free rewards that I used. And then iced lemon pound cake, which this one is, like I said, I'm still on the fence of... Well, I like it. I'm just happy my wicks are actually in the center. Because, like I said, the other ones I got, they were like... The wick was, like, over here. And, like, that's not going to burn normal. It's going to tunnel. And, like, I'm not paying all this money for candles I can't burn. And, yeah, I could just take them out, freeze them, and, like... Or just break them out and, like, put them in um, a wax warmer, but... I mean, I got them to burn them. I do like pineapple mango, but I burned this single wick yesterday, and it's not a very strong thrower. Granted, it's a single wick, so maybe if I put it in my bathroom, it'll be better. But I couldn't really smell it, and kind of had like a weird funky smell when I was burning it. Um, and I can't really put... It's not like a chemical smell, but it just wasn't... Uh, it was almost like a sour smell, like something went bad. I mean, I like it. I'll keep it. I like the packaging. It's gorge. Gorgeous! With, like, the really big, like, leaves. Which kind of reminds me of fall, but I know they're, like, a tropical leaf. Actually, it's kind of a leaf. It looks like a leaf I used to do artwork with. I used to make leaf bowls with a artist in, um, in a town near me. I used to work for him and I'd help him out because he had a heart condition. We used to make leaf bowls and then occasionally I got to take one home and keep. And then I got a shower gel, bubbly rosé, because girl slept on this stuff and ended up not realizing she liked it until now and now she's in love with it. And I have six spray or six shower gels now. And, um, I'm so happy they put this in a bag, <laughs> but they should have put the shower gel in there. I'm just happy my shower gel's in me. Um, and then I got the spray, which I love. I wonder if this is, I wish they had this in, like, the car refreshers, or, like, the car spray, or, like, car air fresheners, because this would be a good smell. I like it. Um... Yeah, because for some reason when I first smelt this in store, and I don't know what the heck I was smelling, but it smelled like straight up like old lady to me, and I don't know why, but now it smells awesome to me. 
but you know me. I sometimes hate a scent and then like give me two weeks and I'll smell it like 20 times and see everybody else reviewing it and going, I have to have it. And then falling in love with it. Okay. Ooh. This is my ginormous order and I'm probably going to place another ginormous order on Saturday. Because Saturday they're supposed to have a really big sale going on at Bath and Body Works again. And I saved, like, almost $200 on this order, so. Um, here, I'm trying to move. I got, let's just do this real quick. I got six of these because I really like it. Um, it's, it's just BU, but it's Bubbly Rosé. And can you tell I really like Bubbly Rosé because I got it in soap form, too. It smells so good. So, yeah, I got it. I got six of them. Something leaked in this, and I haven't figured out what. And I don't know if a soap leaked or what, or some of these wallflowers leaked. And I've been trying to figure that out. I tried to figure it out before I left for my hair appointment. Because this package came um, actually before I was leaving for my hair appointment. So I basically just cut the box open, like, tried to see if everything came in one piece. And then if it didn't, I was going to contact... Bath and Body Works, but honestly, I can't figure out which one's leaking, so we're doing good so far. I got one, two, three, four. These are all the same. Um, I got pink Prosecco frosting, and for those who don't know what the scent notes is, it's pink sugared buttercream, fresh blackberries, and chilled Prosecco. I actually want to see what that news report was. Oh, that's just telling me it's raining and that my my Target order has shipped. Because I got some Target stuff coming this weekend. It's nothing exciting. Um, significant Other needed some bars of soap. Because um, when he travels, he carries bars of soap, not little, you know, shower gels. So I had to get him some more of his shower gel, or his soaps. And then I needed um, some Tide Pods. Oh, yeah. Okay. I figured out what leaked. So, I think only one of these did, though, so far. Okay, we only have one casualty so far. I figured out what was leaking. I actually should take this one out and close the cap. Okay, so, close that one in. Let me, so I lost one pink Prosecco. Like, it didn't lose it. Like, I can still use it. It's just, it's leaking. Because I was trying to figure out, because I could smell something. Yeah, I think that's what I smelled in here. I, the only thing I hate, uh, and I'm cautious about the, the Proseccos or anything champagne, is, I don't know if you guys remember, at Christmas time, they had that, it was supposed to be like that, sh it was like... I can't remember what scent it was, like champagne something. Um, it was the Red Joy bottle at winter time. And it smelled like cat pee so bad. I had to actually exchange those because they were like recall. It was really gross. Um, and then I'm just trying to check this. Okay, here. I have, on this one, I have raspberries and vanilla, whipped vanilla. And the scent notes for this are... Um, pink raspberries, strawberry vanilla bean, sugared lemon drops. It kind of smells like pink fairy gumdrop to me, to be perfectly honest with you. And then I got bubbly rosé, which is pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry juice. And then iced dragon fruit tea, because I do have it in candle and I do like it. So I thought I'd get the wallflower of it too, which is tropical dragon fruit, uh, vibrant green tea, lemonade, sweet coconut milk which is really weird because I don't like anything coconut um but it's more like body care I don't like it in I do I don't mind it in um this form because obviously it's not going on my body so I don't have to smell it all the time I just don't get why I don't like coconut I just really don't um so yeah that that one's in that one I like I said I got a lot of these and with the wallflower sale coming this weekend, I have to see how many I have of one scent 
because I think I might order some more of it. And I kind of want to get some um, iced, iced, iced lemon pound cake and wallflowers, but like only four or maybe two because I don't know if I'm going to really like it in wallflower form. Okay, so this one is strawberry daiquiri. I've never tried this one, so I figured I'd try it because, you know, be adventurous. Come on, Melissa. Um, and I do like it in candle form. It smells really good. It's frozen strawberry, sweet, simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, zesty citrus. Um, and then I got another bubbly rosé. So this is what I got. So I got strawberry daiquiri. I got bubbly rosé. I got raspberries and whipped vanilla. And then I got another raspberry tangerine, which this one I'll read you guys. I'm sure you guys have. I hope they bring this back in body care, by the way. Wild raspberry and fresh tangerine and lemon zest. It's my favorite body care, and I only have two because I, that's one of those ones I was, like, super into when it came out. I was, like, super into the mango Mai Tai, I think it was. Sweet mango Mai Tai or whatever it came out. And I was really into that, so I bought a ton of that, and I only bought two bottles of the Raspberry Tangerine. I'm kicking myself in the ass for it, and I wish I could find it, but I'm not paying $30 for my card. Because that's flipping outrageous. It's highway robbery. Um, and then I got another Bubbly Rosé, a Strawberry Daiquiri, another Strawberry Daiquiri, and another Strawberry Daiquiri, because I like Strawberry Daiquiri. It smells kind of like Strawberry Starburst. That's why I like it. It's literally like... To me, that's what it smells like. Sorry, I'm not being obnoxious. I'm just making sure that none of them have liquid behind them other than that one. Because, uh, honestly, one out of... I bought eight of almost every scent. So, I have... I don't even remember. I have a ridiculous amount of wallflowers. Okay, let's just be real. I bought a ridiculous amount. Which I'm wondering why I only got six of one. I have to check my order because I'm pretty sure my bubbly rosé I was supposed to have eight of. So that's kind of weird. Unless I accidentally didn't order eight, which is a good possibility with me. So I got another bubbly rosé, a raspberry tangerine, a bubbly rosé, and then another raspberry tangerine. It won't go in. So, got that. And then I got a strawberry daiquiri, a raspberry tangerine, a bubbly rosé, and another raspberry tangerine. It's going to be kind of repetitive now. I got two whipped raspberry um, raspberries and whipped vanilla, a strawberry daiquiri, and a iced dragon fruit tea. And then I got a raspberry tangerine, bubbly rosé, strawberry daiquiri, and raspberry tangerine, because I love that smell. It's so good. And then I got raspberry whipped vanilla, I got a strawberry daiquiri, iced dragon fruit tea, and a raspberry tangerine. And then I got a raspberry whipped vanilla, raspberry whipped vanilla, bubbly rosé, and raspberry whipped vanilla. So that is my entire wallflower haul, and this is from that $3.95 sale, but with the $3.95 sale, you could use a coupon, so it, like, dropped my wallflowers down to $2.96 um, each, so that wasn't too bad. I don't think I'm going to buy this many than this next sale coming up on Saturday because, like I said, this total was kind of outrageous. This total came out to, I paid um, $158.80. So, yeah, that is my entire bath and body works haul. Now I have to figure out where to put all this stuff. Well, my candles, I kind of, I kind of know where to put. It's just, um... My wallflower drawers are getting really full, and I have them organized by season. 
So I may have to like put some of these within the fall ones, which is going to make my, I don't have OCD, but I swear I'm very particular about my Bath and Body Works like organization. I'm trying to check something really quick while I'm on, um, on the phone or on the video with you guys. Cause I don't, I just feel like I'm trying to find my order confirmation. Your order has been confirmed. I did order eight. I knew I did. Okay. So, yeah. I hope you guys are all doing well. And, yeah. See you soon. Love y'all.